Hey everyone, Cody here. And today I'm going to be using uh, the small canvas to do a Richter style, Gerard Richter inspired painting. Well, not an inspired painting, but kind of that style. Um, and so I'm going to be using this plastic trowel and some colors I already have out from other videos I did. Um, yellow, blue, and white. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to be using it, um, doing it in uh, layers and I'm gonna let them dry in between so we're gonna go ahead and put some we're gonna start with yellow we're gonna put it on the trowel stop dripping and we're gonna go this way with it and so we're gonna go all the way to the edge and then we're just gonna to pull this scraper all the way through we're going to do it again. Apparently that's going to move. <laughs> stop moving. I guess I just need to stop pulling so fast. All right, so now we've got some some patterns in here. I'll pull this through one last time, and it's trying to suction to the uh, to the canvas. So I'm gonna go rinse this off. We're gonna let this dry, and then we're gonna apply our next layer. All right, so it's been a few minutes. I think this is dried for the most part. Might be a little bit wet, um, and then I washed off my thing. So, we're going to go ahead and put a little bit of blue on here. I don't know if you can see that. And we are going to scrub, scrape that. I'm going to put some of it there and some of it here. Although most of it, uh, most of it went off. So, go ahead and pull this through. It does look like some of the blue or the yellow was still wet, unfortunately, but that's okay. So I'm going to pull this through. Alright. I think I actually, I think my issue is that I'm just using too much paint. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this was too much paint. Actually, let's see if we can get some of the blue paint. All right, well, I used too much. Um, that's pretty apparent. So what, I, what I'm gonna do is let it dry again and we'll apply yellow to the, co to the areas that still have kind of white on them and then we'll do white afterwards. So I'm gonna once again let this dry. I'm gonna go wash off my trowel, which I, I need to get more of these. Um, and then we'll do yellow again. All right, so much of it should be dried by now. And I think to kind of prevent, to help prevent my overuse of paint, because apparently I don't know how to restrain myself. Um, I'm gonna use a paint stick. 
and just put the paint directly on the canvas. So we're going to put a little bit there, a little bit there, and then maybe a little bit right there. That way we can kind of control how much actually gets used. So we're going to pull it out. Yeah, there we go. Now we're getting some kind of dynamic uh, scrapes in. And it's actually kind of, see the, the look that I was going for was this almost rugged scrape. I don't know how to explain it, but that that's what I wanted it. To, to, to pull it out as if like it, it got pulled as far as it could go which is essentially what I'm trying to do, so. Trying to pull it out as much as it'll go. Just kind of stretching this out. I wanted this really rugged look. Cool. Alright, so now we'll do white. So I'm going to go wash this off again and come back. Alright, so I've got it washed off here. And now we'll do some white. So I probably should have got a paint stick for it, but I think they're all, they all need to be washed. So, just pour some of this on there. Loose some a little, little down here. And then probably some right here. All right. So now we will kind of Pull this through. So what I want to do is I want to get the, the scrape look um, going this way first. So there's too much of that one color on here again. I don't know what the heck my deal is here. It's like I try to limit it and it just doesn't work. Oh boy. Just can't win, can I? Well, I think that we will just go ahead and layer it. So we've already got white on here so I'm just going to put a trail of yellow and we're just going to pull it. No, oh, I got a hair in there. Get out of there. Alright, we're just going to pull this one. We're going to pull the yellow through the white. You can see that we, we lose a lot of it. Push a little harder to kind of get it to pull all the way through the painting. I don't know if it's going to. I don't know if it was enough paint. Okay. Whatever. So we're going to go this way 
first. And I'm really kind of putting some weight into these poles. I don't know, it feels incomplete to me, so I think I'm going to go ahead and do one last uh, strip of blue. a lot of pressure here to kind of pull it through. And we gotta get this last little bit in the middle. And I'm just gonna smooth out those lines. And you'll notice that the blue didn't come all the way to the edge. So I'm gonna try to that in. I like having that start contrast uh, as a parent. I'll run that to the edge. Pull off some of that paint and pull it into the, tie it into the painting here. And that's it. So honestly, I don't hate it. I don't. I really don't like it either. I think what I'm gonna do, I I just I can't leave it this way. I'm gonna go ahead and run through all the colors again, but we're going to do it this way. So and we're gonna do it one at a time, kind of like we did. Because if I do it with all of the colors at once, then it starts to blend those colors, and I really don't want to do that. So we're gonna start with the white to give us like a that first almost skim coat. Okay, we're gonna put it on here, and we're gonna we're gonna pull it pretty pretty hard. It's starting to suction to the uh, to the canvas because the other paint is drying. So we're gonna have to really just pull it through. Okay, not bad. And we'll go to the bottom. We're gonna get the corner. We're gonna pull it through. Okay. And then we're gonna do the middle. Okay. Well, now we're now we're getting some some consistency where it's across the board. I, I'm, I like that. Um, so let me just kind of touch the edges. All right. Cool. We're making some progress. All right, so now we'll do our thin strip of blue. We'll pull that through. Pull that all the way through to the end. Go to the bottom. Pull that. Actually, I don't think it was pushing very hard, so I'm gonna 
go back over, pull that all the way through to the end. And we're gonna do the middle, pull that all the way through to the end. All right, so I feel like we're making progress. So we're gonna do our final color here, the yellow. This will probably finish the painting here. So we're gonna push it out to the edge just to make sure that those colors get there. Now this is the final one, so we're gonna really pull that yellow through. Kind of like these thick bands of, of yellow that it's making. Now pull it through to the end. Okay, all right. even pull through to the other side just pull these colors out just draw them along okay not bad and we'll finish with the middle the middle is always the weak point because I don't push as hard but I think we're just gonna go ahead and do it just gonna pull those through, pull them all the way through there. Now, you'll know. I don't know if you can see it, but there's these two marks from where the edge of the um, thing rests. When I do the center one, so we're just gonna smooth that out with one last pull, and we're done, baby. We are done. Okay, so that one I can live with. I uh, I actually don't hate that. soak my tools so that they don't dry with the paint on them. I'll go back and probably paint the edges uh, white. So let me run that over. Smooth that out. Smooth that out. Alright, so I, I kind of like it. I am going to keep it. Well, I'm going to sell it, but I mean I'm, I'm going to keep it the way that it is. I'm not going to mess with it anymore. So let me show you the final piece. So here it is. Got our yellow, our blue, our white, all of the colors that kind of come through. Kind of looks cool because it's got that that scraped um, sort of rugged look to it. And I I don't mind it actually. So yeah, that's it guys. Hopefully you enjoyed and I will catch you guys in another video. Take care guys.